Every year, there's a small but significant change to CMA certification, and in this video, I'll lay out everything new that you need to know to earn your CMA in 2022. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Nathan from CMAexamacademy.com. We help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. So let's start with a recap of everything you need to do to get your CMA certification in 2022. To become a CMA, you have to first join the Institute of Management Accountants or IMA on their website. You can do this on their website, imanet.org, and there's an annual fee. IMA membership fees and CMA program fees are increasing in 2022. So beginning in March 2022, IMA membership fee will increase from $230 to $260 and student membership will go from $39 to $45. Also in March 2022, the CMA program entrance fee will increase from $250 to $280 and the CMA exam fee will increase from $415 to $460 per part. For students, the, the entrance fee will increase from $188 to $210, and the CMA exam fee will increase from $311 to $345 per part. So you have until February 2022 to lock in the current IMA fees. After this date, the new rates will take effect. Second, to become a CMA, you'll need to study for and pass the two-part CMA exam. This is a four-month process that requires immense dedication. My team and I help candidates like you pass the exam on the first attempt with our 16-week program, CMA Exam Academy. The link is in the caption below to learn more if you're interested in studying with us. Third, at any time before or after the CMA exam, you will need to get a four-year degree from an accredited school. Number four, before or after you pass the CMA exam, you need to have two years of work experience, either in financial management or management accounting. You do have seven years after passing the exams to complete this, and it must be two consecutive years of work experience. So let's pause for a second and let me ask you, out of the four steps mentioned, which ones do you still need to complete? If you drop it in the comments below, we can talk through how people just like you are checking off all the boxes and earning their CMA certification successfully. In other words, you can do it too. Both 20 and 2021 saw major testing disruptions for all professional exams, including the CMA. So far, 2022 is getting back to normal as far as scheduling and taking the CMA exam, which means you can take the CMA in three windows, January, February, May, June, and September and October. It's also important that you check the health and safety rules in the Prometric Test Center where you schedule your exam. Every center will align with government regulations around COVID-19. One thing that never changes is that the CMA exam is hard, and I want to make it a little easier for you. Check out the link in the caption below to get a copy of my free CMA exam cheat sheet you will unlock nine additional tactics that will help you pass the CMA exam on the first attempt in 2022. And don't forget to subscribe to the show if you haven't already to be sure you get all the new videos with helpful content to help you pass the CMA exam. Now, while studying for the CMA exam, it's important to also update your resume to showcase your new credential. Watch this video to learn how to build an impressive resume to help you land the CMA job of your dreams. Thank you for watching and I'll see you there. Bye.